Hey there, everybody. Flint Mon 14. And uh, let me check the time here real quick. Okay, 14. Hey, we're back here with some more Final Fantasy VIII. Let's see if we can get the Quistus card this time. Game of cards? Yeah, let's do it, man. Alright, so let's see. Do -do -do -do. Uh, right, last time we were going with El Noyo, Marlboro, and uh, what else? Tom Berry King. Right, right. Okay. Uh, he did play a, uh, what you call it though, uh, let's play Marlboro here, he did play like a Grand Mantis, the card that he has, uh, that's up first right now, you actually may want that, uh, there are some cards that can, uh, help you upgrade your weapon, if you've got that, so, uh, for Quistus, so, uh, he can't take Elmoy if I play this here, right? Uh, nope. Ah, you finally played the Biggs and Wedge. Good, good, good. That's the card I was most worried about. So we can play Tom Bear King here. Yoink. <laughs> there we go. And now everything's in the column. It's game over, buddy. All right. And we get another Behemoth card. Man, maybe I'll be able to show you guys uh, what 10 of those we're finding to. I don't know. Uh, if this keeps going a little longer. Uh, let's just talk to him again. All right. Okay. Ivory. Uh, mini mag. Okay. Elmoil, King, and Marlboro. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Well, at least you did play another Iron Giant. We do need uh, quite a bit of those. Let's play Marlboro right here. Hmm. Interesting choice to put that card. Uh, well, we can actually take that card right now, and he can never take it back, so... Yeah, we'll go with Tom Berry King right here. Ah, yes, I figured you'd do that. But I can take this back right now. And you can't take it back, so ha! Give me my Tom Berry King. Yeah, and we'll use Mini Mog, too. Alright. Alright. Now, if the duel with Quistus can go just as easy, you know, when you finally play the, the Quistus card, we'll be in good shape here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, buddy. Duel me again. Duel me to the brick of dawn. Alright. And, uh, as far as this episode goes, yeah, that's all I've got planned for this one, is just, uh, win the Christmas card, and that's it. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, he went first. Good, good, good. Play it, play it, play it. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just play aggressively here. Let's play Marlboro here. Hmm, he's also got the Chimera card. Yeah, let's play Marlboro here. Please play the Quizzes card. Darn it. Yeah, he's, he's playing smart here. He's playing smart. Hmm. Hmm. Well, perhaps I should... Maybe I can force him to play the Quistus card. If I play Mini Mog here, the only card that can take it is Quistus. Yeah, and he'd have to put it up top, too. Maybe? There he goes. Okay, he finally played it. He finally played it. Okay, all we have to do now is win. Win the match, and we're good here. Um, ooh, Chimera's so good. We win. I think we win, though. Because if we take this... Yeah, he has to take it back with Anacondor. El Noyo can take it. And then Chimera can't take us because it has a 5 at the... Yes! Give me that Quistus card, my friend. Thank you. Alright, there we go. And we have a rare card down, so there we go. You're good. Play me again, okay? Alright, alright. But yeah, that was a pretty good match. Pretty good match, buddy. Okay, um... All right, as I said, that's really all I had uh, wanted to do this episode. Yeah, I was I was kind of afraid of that after last episode. I was like, yeah, maybe a really short part, but um, let me think. Hmm, there actually is one thing we can do. Let's talk to this lady right now. I've worked here many a year now. Uh, being young is great, and oh man, this may take a while. Take an excuse and leave. Sneak away. I'll live. Yeah, let's land in here, actually. 
This will affect, this will help us with something really, 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 really later in the game, but, but seriously, with all these youngsters around, I'm beginning to feel young myself. I'm sorry, thinking to myself, hey, I'm still all that. <laughs> oh man, she's trying slang, slang. Ah, what am I saying? What am I saying? Well, anyway, I have a son about your age, but he is just so incompetent and, uh, you're still talking? This could be trouble. Oh man. <laughs> I know, let's keep blending in here. So, my son, he's not as bright as uh, all you here, so... I was worried about his future then about a year ago. I'm going on a journey to see what I can do, he said. <laughs> can you believe it? I was really surprised at first, but... My son had this serious look I'd never seen before. So I built enough courage and told him to go for it. Well, when I look back at it, all he did was make my husband and me worry. But now, my... Has he matured? He's grown up, I tell you. It sure gets lonely without him. Oh my, I'm sorry, I got carried away. Whenever I see youngsters, I just get so nostalgic. I wonder where he is now. Hmm, indeed. Okay. Uh, let's see, the only other thing I can think to do with this episode... Um, let's talk to this guy. Hmm, maybe I should have... Is, is that where I went wrong? Oh man, why are the people here so real, bro? What is he even talking about there? Uh, the only other thing I can think to do is uh, let's use card mod on some of all the new cards we got. Uh, yeah, we can get some more screws, get some more stone pieces, some more vampire fang. Uh, oh, four of these will refine into a rune armlet. I think that does something. Rune armlet, I think so. Uh, let's get another black hole, zombie powder. Yeah, let's just get uh, some items here with card mod, and maybe I'll head back to the shop and buy them. See if we can get uh, uh, anything particularly good. I don't think so with what we got, but maybe, maybe uh, if you are to win. Uh, I can also try out ice magic refine that I have, and see if I can show you guys uh, some better magic. Coral fragments. Oh, that might teach us to something, actually. Dragon fin. Okay. Uh, yeah, sharp spikes. I think this will help us this, uh, uh, with the new weapon. I think so. We'll, we'll head back to bottom and check, since obviously that didn't take too long to get her card, the Quistus card, so, yeah, we'll head back and just kind of mess around here to end the episode. Uh, Snow Lion, tent Ochu Tentacle, Running Fire, Sharp Spike again, okay. Cactus Thorn, uh, Two Chef's Knife. I think you do need this for one of Squall's weapons. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm not too sure, but. Uh, Ooms, uh, yeah, there we go. Steel Ore, okay. Uh, one more Chef's Knife. Oh, and uh, the, this card, the Wedge, Wedge and Biggs card, actually refines to an X potion, which is, uh, that's actually a really good potion for this point of the game. Uh, but yeah, we got the Quistus card. It's got the Nine and the Ace. Very good. Alright, so let's, uh, I definitely, since it did take us a while to get that card, I definitely want to head back and save here. Uh, any, any of you guys want to talk? Anybody want to say anything? I mean, you never know, I may trigger a new cutscene, kind of like I did with that one teacher. Uh, like, I'm, man, I'm still surprised to see that guy in the game. Like, I just never knew he was in this game. Uh, let's save. It's 421. Okay, so that's when we started 421. So we've been recording about uh, only like 10 minutes. That's good. Okay, so it didn't take us too long to get that. Um, let's see if I can do anything here with Ice Magic Refine. Uh, oops, I went the wrong way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, we did get some more North Winds, so now I can uh, give Squall 60 more Blazagas, so now he has 80. That's good. Uh, also, these Arctic Winds will refine it to Blazaras, which is kind of like the mid stage magic. Um, honestly, this might be better than what you have right now, so. Now, would I recommend it? No, because obviously we can get Blazagas, which are better, but, you know, if that's the best you got, that's the best you got. Um, waters, okay. Oh, and we can actually finish out our Blazagas with Squall with the Wizard Stones. Uh, let's do it. Let's give Squalls 100 Blazagas. Okay. 
That's good. Yeah, yeah. And let me show you guys what you can do with that. So, I think I already have it junctioned. But, uh, yeah, with the fires, his magic stat was only, yeah, 12. And now it's all the way up to 37 because we have 100 Blazagas. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, uh, and if we put it on his streak, look at that. Holy smokes. We can put his streak all the way up to 56 this early in the game. That's funny. Uh, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave it on the magic stat because, uh, yeah, the higher the magic stat of your character, the more uh, magic you'll actually draw from uh, uh, enemies when you uh, when you use the draw command. So uh, if it's maxed out, you'll draw like nine magics at a time. Whereas if it's just you know kind of the start of the game, maybe you'll get two, maybe you'll get four, maybe you'll get eight. You know, let's talk to this guy. Nice, beautiful breeze. Uh, I think I'll just <sighs> nap time. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's head to Balam and uh, let's see how what we can do for weapons uh, now that we've gotten all these extra items. Uh, maybe th I don't think we'll have one an upgrade for Scrawl, but uh, we may have an upgrade for uh, uh, Quistus that we unlocked. So, but I just kind of want to check. So, um, and actually. We won't be getting Quistus's final, final weapon until, like, a lot later in the game, so... I may just go ahead and upgrade hers right now. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what they say at the shop, so. uh, But that's it as far as rare cards you can win at this point, so... Yeah, ultimately, that is going to be the end of this recording session. <laughs> Did not expect it to go, you know, three, three or four episodes here, but, uh... Yeah. You know, sometimes they just, they don't play the card you want, so... Ten thunders, okay. All right, how many thunders does a squirrel have, by the way? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, 65? Uh, how many you got, Quistus? None. Okay. Well, actually, um, yeah, let's give these thunders to Quistus at this point. And also, we don't need the fires, clearly, so let's just give her the redundant fires. Um, and let's rearrange here. We can put a different magic here. So let's put, uh, oh no, we can put a different magic here at the front. So let's put Slop Sleeps, yeah, here on the front screen. And then we will, yeah, move the waters ahead. There we go. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's check on the uh, weapon here. Uh, okay, hello. Ah, okay, yeah, now here with Squall you see his, uh, I think this is his, let me think. I think this is his third weapon, the cutting trigger. Yeah, with uh, eight screws and a mesmerized blade, you can get this. Um, this might be his second weapon. I think the flame saber is his fourth weapon though, I think. Well, anyway, we, we got the cutting trigger available for Squall if we want it. Oh, and request us, we do have the slang tail available. Okay, yeah, I mean, honestly, this doesn't cost us much. Uh, we have plenty of magic stones and sharp spikes, so... Now, I don't know if I'll upgrade Quistus' weapon again. But we'll go ahead and buy this for now, so let's pay 200. There we go, and now her strength's a little better, so there you go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that's really all I have uh, for this recording session. I already did, like, kind of a tour of Malong, so... Uh, there may be one thing I forgot to show over here, though. If you go over here... Let's, uh... Oh. Um, you can actually play this guy in cards. And he does have the Illinois Oil card. But there's a reason I didn't on stream. Uh, don't play this guy in cards. Because, um, if you do, there's a chance that you may not have the open roll anymore. And that... That sucks, because then you won't be able to see what card your opponent has, so... I mean, I know this guy can play the Elden Oil card, but don't play him unless you've got, like, plenty of money and can get the open roll back. Uh, let's talk to this person. We haven't talked to anybody over here, so... Our dog used to be with the army. Wait, what? They released him because he has a terrible sense of smell. Huh. Uh, a dog with a bad sense of smell, that's kind of rare, I'd say. Huh. He can't smell. But he sure can run. I'm always exhausted after I walk him. Huh. Interesting. There, there. Good boy. Aww. There you go. Good doggy. Okay. Hey, have you heard? 
Mrs. Dinched son is going to take the Steve exam. Yeah, Miss Dinched, huh? Oh, yeah, we were, remember her. <laughs> really? I wonder if that rowdy boy can handle it. Does Mrs. Dinched know about this? Hmm. Good question. Oh, and they're just kind of laughing it up here. The chance Sam uh, will pass the exam is probably around 50%. Oh, man. Uh, at least that's what my son said. Hmm, Zell. Who's this Zell guy they're talking about? I guess that's Mrs. Dinch's son, huh? The exam doesn't just test physical abilities. Right. Right. It also emphasizes teamwork. Hmm. On top of that, composure, focus, proper decision-making, and much more. Hmm. Oh, my. I doubt he can handle it. Dang, they're just ragging on the Zell guy. Man, who is that guy? Uh, oh. I guess all we can do is wish him luck. I, I missed her first line in the dialogue. Oh, I don't think Mrs. Dinch will say anything to him, even if she knew. Oh, okay, okay. Man, they're kind of talking crap about this, uh, this, uh, Zell guy, though. Hmm. Eh, I wonder if we'll see him later in the game. Eh, I doubt it. Well, anyway, let's just move on here. Uh, there is a draw point that I didn't mention in the first episode over here. It is Cure, so 12 Cures, there you go. So if you want extra Cures without battling enemies in the game of drawing, yeah, just go back and forth between here and Balo. And uh, yeah, the more you walk, um, I'm sure you guys have noticed this with the draw points, the more you walk, like the more, oops, do not mean to go back, the more they, the draw points refill. So yeah, just, you know, stay on the road, go back and forth between Balo and there, and you'll get plenty of cures in no time without battling so there you go and like this is already refilled and we uh yeah we got this when we first entered town and there's already seven thunders because we did all that walking so there you go um with that being done i think that's really gonna be it for this uh yeah this recording session when we went for the rare cards uh yeah so on stream um like I said, I'm going to go for the 80 Illinois cards. Uh, also, as far as the GF abilities, um, the ones we'll be going for are on stream will mainly be these, the refining abilities. Yeah, T Magic Refine, Thunder Magic Refine. Uh, I'll also be probably unlocking these uh, to give a Quet Quetzalcoatl HP and Vitality Junction. Um, yeah, also... I guess, I don't know if Quetzalcoatl gets the magic bonus ability or not. I don't remember, actually. Hmm. I may try to unlock the magic first and see if uh, Quetzalcoatl does get magic bonus. Um, but also, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to mention is that with Ifrit here, after strength plus 40, uh, the GF ability for him, will, a strength bonus, will become available. So I'll definitely go for that first as far as the uh, GF abilities on stream. Uh, also, Fire Rock Magic Refine, um, I'm really not gonna go for this, um, despite, you know, we could get like Fire Art, Fire Firaga and stuff, but uh, I don't find Fire Magic Refine as useful as Ice Magic Refine or Thunder, so I'll probably go for this a little later, yeah. Um, and finally, on stream, as far as Shiva goes, yeah, we definitely want to unlock Vitality. And after that, we'll be going for the Spirit, plus 20. And I think she gets a Spirit, plus 40 after that. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. She also might unlock uh, Vitality, plus 20, after she learns Vitality Junction. I think she does, and if so, we'll go for that. I think she gets Spirit 20 and 40, and Vitality uh, 20 and 40, so... Uh, but that's the plan as far as the GFs go, and we'll be using the, uh, you know, the card command to learn as, as few experiences as possible, so... Anyway, that's the plan for... Uh, stream, just in case, you know, you guys are playing along or whatever and you want to know, there you go, now you know. So, alright, but that's going to be it for the, uh, rare card socket for now. Um, we will eventually be going for a lot more rare cards, because there are a lot of rare cards in this game, but, yeah, that's it for now. Um, yeah, so... Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and uh, wish me luck. I mean, hopefully the stream, it won't take me 
you know, eight or ten days of streaming to get all of those Illinois cards, well, honestly, it might. I mean, you know, it's just, it really depends. I mean, I, I honestly have no control over it. And as far as I remember, there's no way to, like, you know, uh, guarantee your opponent has Illinois cards and that you win them. I mean, ultimately, you just have to hope, like, Hey, I hope they play the Illinois card a lot. And, you know, if they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's the plan. So, until the stream's over, I really won't see you guys in the main series episode. But once all the grinding's done, I'll kind of, I'll probably just do, like, an update episode where I explain, like, oh, okay, here's all the cards we won. Like, I'll, I'll wait to card mod all the stuff on, like, an actual video with commentary and just show you guys, like why we did all that and then uh so we'll do kind of like an update episode and then after that you know after we get the 80 Illinois cards we'll basically go to a main series episode so all right guys well uh that's it thanks for joining me been flood mod 14 and uh, i will see you all <laughs> next time all right have a good day bye bye